Hey you guys, welcome back to Myrtle Volkswagen T4. I've got a slightly different video for you today. I have been on a massive shopping bender and I'm actually gonna share with you my haul. I've owned this van for 15 months. In that time we've been scrimping and saving and building and dreaming and planning and I've made a point of not allowing myself to go out and buy all the pretty things that I'm gonna need. However, the day has now come that I have been out. I've done that mammoth shop. In the interest of disclosure, this post is sponsored by TK Maxx slash HomeSense. Um, there aren't many shops on the high street that I love like TK Maxx and HomeSense. They are amazing. Forget the shoes and the handbags and the clothes that most girls go for. I'm all about the homewares, which is why when TK Maxx started opening HomeSense stores around the country, I think there's 30, it's like, just my idea of shopping heaven. So this post is sponsored by them. Thank you very much TK Maxx and HomeSense. We love you very much. Mum and I did a 300 mile uh, round trip. We live in the sticks in Cornwall. We drove up to Bristol, we went to Taunton, we went to Western Supermare. We were exhausted. We were on the road for 13 hours shopping. And this is what I got on my haul. So first things first, this box here, this is nothing to do with the van. This is just little treasures that I found um, on, our, <coughs> excuse me, on our shopping day that I had to bring home. This box is gonna be my portfolio box. So this, when I get published, when I get recipes published in a magazine or in books, then at the moment I store the magazines in a brown envelope and they're a big pile of them on the bookcase and they're dusty and I never get looked at. So I thought if I had a portfolio box, then I could put all the work that I've been published in, in here. So inside, lots of pretty things in here. This, I don't know why I only bought one because I love it so much and I hope I don't break it. Um, it's just a great big bowl. I picture a massive bowl of ramen noodles in there with boiled eggs and beautiful colours and things. So I might even make that recipe in here for you guys. This won't be living in the van because I don't want it to get broken. It's just beautiful. I think that one was 5 99 and I love it. I've also picked up two rolls of handmade paper in India handmade paper from India. Um, I bought this as photography background. Most wrapping paper is shiny and shiny surfaces aren't great in photography or in food photography because they bounce the light and can cause ugly patches of light. This is matte however so it's going to suck up the light and just be fully vibrant and beautiful. So keep watching my videos. You might well find these guys coming into use in the photography. Um, I picked up a tea towel um, I needed some tea towels with green in for contrast for photography and this one was reduced to a pound, rude not to. Some very sweet little wooden um, cutlery sets and I just thought again for food photography they'd be really sweet for like a picnic style shoot. Again watch out for them. I got some um, organic coconut flour which had been reduced to four pound, I think that was 5 99 to start with which is really good for organic. Um, I've got a recipe to do for a client that is chocolate brownies using coconut flour, so that was handy. And I also picked up some new secateurs because the spring's gone in mine and it's driving me mad. So that was my little home haul. And now for the stuff that I imagine most of you are here for. I bought these four basket boxes, whatever. Um, these are going to live in our kitchen cupboards. Hopefully I'll be able to organise everything a bit better than I've currently got it set up. Um, there's a big dead space in the back of two of the cupboards so I've measured all these up. This one I bought because I love the colours and it's pretty but it's round in shape and I should have gone for square corners to maximise use of the space so I'll see how I get on. I might end up using that one at home and going and buying a square one. In this basket I picked up a cutlery tray and this one is um, like a silicon on it so hopefully things won't rattle around quite so much in there when I'm going around corners at high speed which clearly Myrtle does all the time. I also bought bedding which I'm really excited about. The first store we went in was HomeSense in Taunton and I saw one of these single duvets but they only have one and I kind of wanted matching so I didn't buy it but then when later on in the day I think we were in the Bristol HomeSense and I saw the other one so I bought the other one and then on the way home we had to stop back into Taunton and pick up the same so I've got matching duvet set. And even though when the two of us are sleeping in here, even though we'll be making the bed up to a, it's a really good size double bed actually, 
Um, I decided to go for two singles instead of one do one double, sorry, because there will be times that I'm sleeping in here on my own and I can just keep the bench like this and just sleep on that and I don't want the double duvet trailing on the floor. So we decided to go for two singles. So that's that. Now this is the fun basket. These baskets, by the way, really good value. This one, $6.99, that's in the kids wear department. Kids wear? Kids bedroom department. This one, is, um, I forgot what that just said, I just look, seven pound, that was reduced to seven pound. That's a really strong, solid one. This pretty little one, $7.99 really good value and this one I think this was the most expensive $12.99 but again really sturdy so this is the fun basket so anyone that knows me will know that wherever I am I've got my diary it's like my map my life planner my week planner my day planner it's I kind of think that my world would just kind of collapse if I lost that so I'm not going to take it, we're going off on a month long trip to Scotland and I'm not going to take this diary to Scotland just in case I lose it or whatever. The rest of my year would be screwed. So I just picked up um, a plain notebook, um, which would be handy. I've taken the price off that. It was reduced, but I can't remember. Oh, it was two pound, it was reduced to two pound. That's lovely. And <laughs> very girly, this will be my, just my little portable office. Um, that one I think was five ninety nine. It's really pretty. So that is going to be my office. Uh, I picked up this little measuring device, which is two ninety nine. It's plastic, so it's not going to break easily, and it's just got measurements like um, a cup, an American cup, um, teaspoons, tablespoons, milliliters, and fluid ounces. I can't imagine that most people would keep one of these in their camper van, but obviously when I am on the road, I am still gonna be working and creating recipes for people. So I need to know that the measurements I'm writing in a recipe are correct. So it's important for me that I'm able to measure things. I was also looking for some small electronic scales to live in here. Again, I can't imagine anybody else needing scales in their camper van, but I couldn't find any, and I do need to find some to live in here because it's important that I get measurements right. Um, I got a tin of um, tea bags. I actually bought these for the tin. This is going to be Johnny's tea bag box, funnily enough. These have got English afternoon tea bags in there. So we'll use them up and then he can use that for his tea. And for my coffee, I got this sweet little tub, which is Williamson tea. It's actually got matcha tea powder in it and it's going to be used for my ground coffee. So, and it's really cute. And as we know, cute things are really important in a camper van. I also got a small uh, microplane grater. That was only $7.99, which is a bargain. Really sharp and vicious. Um, some scissors. Oh, very excited about this one. Japanese chopping knife. Like a good bit of knife action. And that was reduced to £7. And it, it was only $12.99 to start with, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to have fun using that. I love a good knife. What else have we got? Oh, we've picked up a couple of serving spoons, silicon, so that they don't damage my non-stick pans. A can opener and a potato peeler. These are both Brabantia, so you know they're going to be good um, good quality. This one was two ninety nine, pretty good, isn't it? And five ninety nine for the can opener. Potato masher, two ninety nine. Um, a little knife, a little paring knife, but it comes with a sheath, which I thought would be quite handy. Stop fingers getting cut. A whisk. Again, I can't imagine that most people carry a whisk in their camp fan kitchen, but I'm not going to have access to my electric whisk at home. And if I need it for a recipe, I've got it. A splatter guard for anyone that cooks in their van, especially if they're going to be frying, like doing fry ups and things. You really need one of them. It's going to stop the fat getting splashed around the van. Um, they're not difficult to clean. This one's silicon. I've never seen a silicon one before. The one I've got at home is like a, a metal mesh. And with that one, it's easy. You just run it under the really hot tap or pour boiling water over it from the kettle and it's fine. This one being silicon will be even easier to um, clean. And that's by Colourworks, that's $7.99. A very sweet little dustpan and brush. And I got this one because it's flat. Obviously I got it because it's a pretty color, but also it's flat. So that's gonna hang inside one of the cupboard doors. A tray, 
and this one is a map tray because I have a map fetish and that's all I have to say about that one really and lastly a little bit of frivolity and prettiness a little lantern so that when we're camping somewhere pretty and we're sat outside at night if it's nice weather we can have that outside too and I kind of wish I'd bought another one there's some different shapes and different colour glass actually I don't think it is glass I think it's plastic I'm not sure don't know but it's lovely <sighs> gosh I need a drink now I think I think that's it Altogether, I spent £250. I also bought a cookbook, um, a lovely piece of like driftwoody wood with some um, co-hooks on for my office. Um, I bought some bits of food that have already been hoovered up, um, a couple of bags of beef jerky or biltong and a box of popcorn and I think that's the lot. So now what I need to do is spend a couple of hours in here. I need to work out what's going to live in what basket, which cupboard and um, kind of just get this place organised. There's a, there's For a small van, there's a hell of a lot of storage in here and I just really need now to make it work for us and all our stuff. I will be back soon with a full tour video when it's all set up so you can see the different configurations of the space. Um, and yeah, if you've liked this video, you won't be getting any more of these shopping hauls. I'm not a big shopper. I'm just really glad that I got to do this one in one big hit. It's been good fun. Although, can I just tell you, 13 hours shopping is exhausting. I had to take yesterday off work because I was so tired. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed this and you want to sign up to get some regular camper van recipe videos in your inbox, then please, please, please hit subscribe, like this video and I will see you very soon. Thanks so much for hanging around guys. Love you loads and I'll see you soon. Bye.